Happy Frugal Friday, friends. Today I'm sharing 58 things that I don't buy, that I don't spend money on, or that I've drastically reduced spending on. This is actually a compilation of four videos that I have created in the past, but I have a lot of new people that have joined the channel recently, so I have made a master list so you can watch it all in one video. Number one is a car payment. I paid off my car a few years ago. When I first started out on my frugal journey, that was one of the big things that I took care of years ago. I will leave a link down in the description if you wanna hear more about that. Number two is paper towels. Paper towels are still in my life. Do I still buy them? Yes. Do I utilize them a lot less than I used to? Yes. I used to use them every time I wash my hands, I grab paper towel just to dry. Now I use my kitchen towels, microfiber towels. I don't just waste paper towels like I used to. Number three is an oldie but goodie. Cable, don't pay for it, don't miss it. Number four is meat. Do I still buy meat? Yes. Again, do I buy a lot less of it? Yes. I don't buy big steaks usually. You guys know my go-tos are bacon. Still gonna buy bacon and chicken mostly. As far as my weekly groceries, I don't spend a ton on meat. Number five is freezer meals. I used to buy those quite a bit, but now I don't really do freezer meals. I'm talking like lean cuisine, anything in that family, I buy a lot less of that also. Next is magazines and books. I almost never, ever, ever buy magazines. I still buy books for book club, or I try to put them on my list for Christmas or birthday so I can get them that way. Or of course, I use the library. I buy a lot less books than I used to. I love reading, girlfriend loves to read. You know, we got book club every Sunday, but I try not to buy them excessively so that I don't have them everywhere. Although I love books in general, I try to borrow whenever I can. Number seven is clothing. Did just get this new gray K-Squad hoodie. It is my favorite item in my wardrobe. For those of you that already got one, they're so soft, they're so comfortable, they fit me perfectly, I just love them so much. But in general, I don't spend a lot of money on clothing. In fact, I don't even have it built into my budget. In my budget, I do have a Kate category, which I could choose to spend it on clothing. In the spring, I feel like that is when I mostly wanna buy new clothing. But in general, I don't buy a ton of new clothes, I just use what I have. Number eight is movie tickets. You guys know if you've been watching this, Caden doesn't like going to the movies. He doesn't like movies, so, and I'm with him a lot of the time. Plus, with everything that has gone on in the world lately, a lot of the movie theaters have actually completely shut down or are closed, but I used to love going to the movies. And so I still will go, but I just don't do it very often. Number nine is vacations. I very rarely go on a vacation. You guys know back in 2017, I went to Disney and it was amazing and I am hoping to go actually again in the next year or two. But in general, I don't spend a ton of money on vacations. Firstly, I don't get a lot of time off. And secondly, traveling can be expensive. Of course, there are frugal ways to do it, but vacations currently are not one of the things I tend to spend a lot of money on. Number 10 is Netflix. My brother has a Netflix account and you're allowed to share it with a friend and he shared it with me, which I really appreciate because I love Netflix. Number 11 is bottled water. I try not to buy too much bottled water. They actually provide it at work, which I enjoy, but I try not to buy too much. I try to drink from the tap whenever possible. Here in Maine, the water actually tastes really good. Thank goodness. Number 12 is beverages beyond milk and wine. This is one that I put on the list a while ago and this has evolved just slightly. Caden uh, really likes a Capri Sun once in a while, so that's now in the grocery list. Number 13 is getting my nails done. I just don't. Number 14 is coffee at a coffee shop. Do I like Dunkin' Donuts? Do I like Starbucks? Yes, I do, but I rarely go unless I have a gift card. Instead, I make my coffee at home every single day. Number 15 is going out to eat. Do I do it sometimes? Yes, I actually build it into the budget a little bit every single month, but in general, I don't go out to eat a ton and it saves me a ton of money. Number 16 is handbags and purses. I have several from the past that I just reuse and swap them out and change them out. I very rarely buy new ones. 
Next is watches and jewelry. I do wear jewelry, of course. Right now I have these little gold hoop earrings. I have my love necklace on, I have my love ring on. I do like jewelry, I just don't have a ton of it. And I almost never buy watches anymore. I used to buy watches all the time. I used to love watches, but now with my phone, I know what time it is, I don't need a watch. Next is an expensive gym membership. And actually since the virus, I have no gym membership. So that's something I save money on. Next is excessive produce. You guys know I'm passionate about this one. Don't buy a ton of produce so that you look healthy if you're not actually going to ingest it. It's good to get produce if you're going to eat it, but don't get an excessive amount to prove you're healthy and let it rot in your refrigerator. Number 20 is excessive sweets and desserts. I love sugar, I'm not gonna lie, but I try not to buy sweets all the time because I find that we actually get sweets at work. Our boss usually buys a big bag of candy and leaves it for us so we can have little sugar hits once in a while. My parents always have some sugar at their house. I try not to buy an excessive amount of just treats and desserts and brownies and cakes and cookies. Do I still buy some of it? Of course, but I just try not to do it in excess. Next is full priced items. I almost never pay full price for anything. I always look for a coupon code and I'm always looking for a good deal. Bath and Body Works hauls. I used to get the hand soap and the lotions and the shower gels and the buy two get one free and oh my lord. I used to do that all the time and I no longer do that. Next is car washes. I rarely get my car actually washed. I've gone through maybe one or two times a year. I have a garage that I put my car in. I let the rain do its thing. Otherwise, I don't really spend a lot on washing my car. Next is pricey lunches. It is so easy to get in the habit of going out to lunch, but if you're spending 10 to $15 every time you go out to lunch, you see how that would quickly add up. I try to bring my lunch. Next is perfume. I love a good smelling perfume, but now I just try to have one or two. I used to have a large assortment of perfumes, a large assortment, lots and lots of perfumes. Now I just try to stick to my signature scent, maybe one other to mix it up, but that's it. Next is body wash. If somebody gifts me body wash, I will use it. I will use up every drop, but I actually have turned more to bar soap, partly because my best friend has started a soap company. Like I've told you, it's called Summer Soap Company. You can find her on Etsy and I love her smelling soap. So I've been using that a lot, but also I find that bar soap kind of gets you a little bit further and costs a lot less in general than body wash. Next is toys for Caden. Caden is kind of moving out of the toy zone, more bigger toys, more electronic toys. He doesn't really want the plastic stuff and that's cool with me. Next is home decor. I very rarely buy home decor. I try to keep it simple. I try to use what I already have, maybe put it in a different place so it looks different, but I don't spend a lot of money on that. Next is makeup. I could spend a ton getting the newest colors and shades. You guys know I sell Mary Kay and I could just go nuts, but I've really, really, really tried to minimize that going forward because I have eyeshadow right now for the rest of my life. Like I could literally not buy eyeshadow for years probably and still be good. That's how much eyeshadow I have. I use a CC cream every day on my face, which is a very light, almost like a foundation to make, to take the redness out of my skin. When I get out of the shower, I have like blotchy red skin, but then I just put that on the CC cream and it just smooths out my skin. So it's a little bit more even. So I always buy that to keep that going. But as far as like lipsticks and the latest blush color and all that stuff, I keep that to a minimum. Next is Amazon splurges. I love my Amazon Prime account and I will not give that up. I really love it, but there have been times in the past where, you know, your credit card information is already in there and a little this and a little that. I don't do that anymore. I still get stuff from Amazon, you best believe, but I don't go on the splurges like I used to. Next is plants. Wait, what? My mom gave me that plant. I have that one and I have one small one in my kitchen and that's it. I love plants. I think they're beautiful. I think they're wonderful. 
I just am taking enough time keeping the people and the pets alive. Plants aren't my priority at this time. Next is ironing products. I don't own spray starch, any of the ironing things, the ironing board, the actual iron, any of it. I don't iron. Next is yard work. I have a push lawnmower right now. And now that I'm a homeowner, this might change because I have a couple things that I might want to work on. But prior, I used to be a renter, so I never had to spend money on yard work. So this one might be evolving a little bit soon beyond my lawnmower, but I don't pay anybody to do lawn work, yard work, and I haven't really spent a lot of money to date, but that might be changing soon. Next is wipes. Wipes, wipes, wipes. When I had Caden and he was a baby, there were wipes everywhere. But as he's gotten older, I don't need wipes the way that I used to, and I use other cleaning products, but not really wipes. Next is tanning for probably obvious reasons, but back in the day, I used to work in a tanning salon and I used to tan and now I do not do that anymore. Obviously we know it's probably not the best for our skin and I'm not gonna spend the money doing it. Pale is the new tan. The next three are kind of girly. I don't microblade my eyebrows. Some people are really into that. I don't spend any time or money or effort on them besides a little plucking here and there. It is what it is. I don't get fake eyelashes. I love the look of long, luscious lashes, but I'm not gonna spend any money on that. To finish up that girly tip, I don't wax things. I just shave. Waxing can be pretty expensive. I don't really take the time to do it. Shaving doesn't bother me much. Not really a priority of mine. Just a regular shave does it for me. Next is fancy sunglasses. I know people that have super expensive sunglasses and I have never brought myself to get it because A, it's not really a priority of mine like to have expensive ones. I can just get some cute ones from like TJ Maxx or wherever. Plus I can't be trusted with nice things. I'm afraid I'll lose them, I'll sit on them. I wouldn't waste my money on fancy sunglasses. Next is really nice or many shoes. I'd say I have an average amount of shoes but I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on like Manolo's or anything like that. That's not a priority of mine. And again, having a particular shoe for every occasion. Again, I'm not spending my money on that. Next is sports equipment. A lot of people have tennis rackets and jet skis and all the things for the hobbies that they're into. I don't have that. I don't spend a lot of money on sporting equipment. Next is apps for my phone. I very, 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 very rarely ever buy an app. I will use free ones happily, but I don't really spend money on apps. Next is an excessive bra collection. This one I actually kind of wish I indulged in a little bit more, but um, I don't have a ton of bras. I have an average amount. I know some people that have drawers of them. And again, that's not something I'll probably participate in, although I do need to buy one or two coming up soon. And I gotta put that in the budget. Next is an eye watch. Um, I know I talked about watches earlier, but an eye watch seems to be its own special thing. I personally don't want one yet because I don't want to be that available. I don't want things buzzing on my body. My phone is enough. No eye watch for me. Number 46, if you were counting, is wallets. I have one wallet that I use right now and I'm gonna use it till it falls apart and then I will get a new wallet. But I don't spend a lot of money on wallets. When I was younger, I used to have a bunch of them because I thought that was cool. Every time I used to get a bag, I used to get a wallet. I don't do that anymore. Got one wallet. Next is an extensive nail polish collection. Yes, I have some nail polish, but I used to have dozens and dozens and baskets and oh, I don't even, so much nail polish. I don't even wear nail polish most of the time anymore. So I just don't do it. Next is, excessive bath bombs and bath salts. Now, don't get me wrong, my new thing is baths, but I just do a simple bubble bath. I have bubble bath from the Dollar Tree. I spend $1. It's a simple luxury, but I love it and it feels fantastic. Next is paper planners. As you guys know, I am a digital girl in a digital world. The only thing that I use is a simple notebook most of the time. I don't have those fancy, planners that cost like 40, $50 or even $20 or even $10. I do most things digitally and that's what I've grown accustomed to. 
Next is themed sheets for Caden. As he's getting older now, it's like, you know, he was into Pokemon back when he was younger, he was into Paw Patrol. Now it's kind of not in that theme range and I don't wanna waste my money on themes that he grows out of and is no longer interested in. So I just get more like a generic print or solids or something that will last longer so they can go the distance. Along those lines, the next one is holiday themed clothing. Sure, I've got an ugly sweater somewhere for the annual ugly sweater occasion, but for the most part, I don't get holiday themed clothing because you can only wear it that one time a year and I prefer not to. Mom gets Kaden a new Halloween shirt every year and that's super cute. We enjoy that, but in general, we don't get much. Next is wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I used to buy those in bulk. <laughs> I used to love them. I had them everywhere. And now um, my mom gets them for me once in a while as a gift and I will utilize them. But for the most part, I burn candles, keep my house clean. That's it. Next is excessive hair goop. I shampoo and condition my hair and that's about it. I might have one bottle of hairspray should I need it for something, but I don't do gel. I don't do mousse. I, I don't do all the hair goop. I used to. I used to. Next is something that I don't even know if I would have gotten through college without was Diet Mountain Dew. If I had a dollar for every Diet Mountain Dew I bought back in college, I would be rich. I used to drink it so much. I didn't do coffee back in college. Can you imagine? I didn't do coffee. Can you believe it? I didn't do coffee. I love coffee so much now, but back then it was all about the Diet Mountain Dew, but I no longer get that. Next is shaving cream. I used to think shaving cream was essential back in the day. It's not, I use soap. Next is excessive hair clips, barrettes, scrunchies. Scrunchies are back, by the way. I don't wear them outside of the house, but I do wear them in the house. And I gotta tell you, I like it. I used to have buckets of them. Barrettes, banana clips back in the day, the claw clips, different barrettes that go with the different color my hair is at the time, all that. I don't do that anymore. I don't care. Next is plastic water bottles. And I mean like the water bottles with like logos on it that you get for free from somewhere. Maybe a bank will give it to you when you open a new account, like those kind of things. I used to have like a ton of those refillable plastic bottles. Now I have one glass one that I use. I still have a couple maybe of the old ones that I have, but I don't get those anymore. I used to have like, I used to buy them a lot. I used to have a ton of them. I don't spend money on that anymore. And number 58, which is not in any of the previous videos that I don't spend my money on, is clothing that is not machine washable. Why would I do that? Ain't nobody got time to get dry cleaning done. I'm not interested in that. I don't wanna do it. I'm not doing it. If it doesn't go in the washing machine, I'm not buying it. Now is your turn. What is something that you no longer buy? Something you no longer spend money on? Or something that you have drastically reduced that saves you money? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, hit the thumbs up hit subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified the next time I upload. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.